615 is the time now. New this morning, a resurgence in Lake St. Clair. Lake sturgeon are thriving, believe it or not. And the Department of Natural Resources is performing new research. Only 7 Action News reporter Matthew Smith was invited aboard the research boat. He joins us live. Matt? Yeah, incredible to see these decades old fish up close and personal. The DNR has put years into helping them out and bring that resurgence to our area. And they say that work is paying off. A little bit right, a little right. Buoys up, the line coming in. You're really tight. Each pole comes with a little hope. Hope that they'll find. This is a really nice fish. Just what they're looking for. This big old lake sturgeon helps slosh a little extra water off the ship. But really, for those like Captain Roy, this is nothing new. Typically, a lot of people think a big fish is, you know, 40 pounds, 30 pounds. We see those every day. What he hadn't seen in the some 20 years he's been captaining this ship is the amount of fish coming out of these waters. Dating back to the 90s, some 3,000 fish have been tagged. 99% sure he'll have an internal tag as well. 50.7. Earth is 19.4. Zero lamprey scars. It's just really rewarding to know that there's, you know, a, a fish underneath us right now that could be 100 years old, 100 pounds or more. You never really know what's going to be on the end of the set line until you pull it up. Historically, this is surprising. Some say these freshwater monsters date back to the Jurassic period. But more recent history, their numbers plummeted. Temperature is 18 degrees Celsius. Which is why now, each number, every fish. I'm gonna go all the way to the back to get him up. Like this 56 pound behemoth are tagged, tracked, and logged. And those who know these waters best are encouraged by what they're seeing. How big the population is, you know, surprises me. They had a close up look at nine sturgeon yesterday, but believe it or not, some days they've had upwards of 20 brought aboard that ship. I have a whole lot more of this story that we're sharing at WXYZ.com. Look for that story later today. We're live in Macomb County this morning. Matthew Smith, 7 Action News.